Hi. Welcome. Welcome to chart designing tutorial in Maya. I'm going to create an animated chart. In Maya, render it. Of course, I will show you how you can make a beautiful chart. But most of the job is done using the script. Other than going and doing you know, creations and arrangements which are too boring for a person who needs uh, a fast process in his work or her work. Good. Uh, if, if you download my script, it's, uh, you can you, you you see that it's in a rare file, it's a rare file. You can download it from my weblog. I'm here. Type my weblog. Install WordPress. I said this is my weblog, and you can find many ML scripts there, also some tutorials and some uh, other useful information for you. Uh, when you download it, it's in a .rar file, and if you ex extract the ra a file, you'll find a mill script in it. Uh, copy the concept of mill script right into your script folder in Maya, and then execute it, or simply drag and drop it onto your shelf. Type a name for it, uh, put an icon, uh, text for it, and you'll have a ready script. Ready to run a script. If I click on my script, you see that it, it, it has quite a wide interface but uh, all the things stored in the interface are easy and also are arranged in a step by step way so you go through this way in a linear workflow it comes to generate chart button at the, at the end of the interface and when you hit generate it will generate a chart for you based on the information that you have provided uh, today I have rendered this chart in Maya of course if I should size it and uh, it, it's, it's also animated, but I had a time to batch render it because each frame, each frame of it has taken about five minutes, and I didn't want to go into memory management and bringing time down because I just wanted to show you how we can achieve a nice chart or semi nice chart with from you know different shots and angles. So. For creating this chart, you see it has uh, five data points in it. They begin from meat, milk, bread, oil, and wine, and it's based on 100% chart. You know, I mean, uh, it's per percent based, not your year date or any other uh, any other unit. Good. Uh, I begin from here and call it. Good assumption. Good. I, I put it in cube there. So if you put it in column, I will get these uh, data points in a column format. If you get, if you select it, uh, select cube, you will get them in a cubic way. And as you can see in this picture, also there is a curve that is disabled. And if you, and if you read, pay attention to this. Notification in here, we see that it says the grade and parse uh, would be enabled only if uh, I receive enough comments requesting this because, because I must make sure that it's been approved by quite uh, by, by a couple of users. Good. Uh, in here, I have five data points, so I, in here I set the, the number of data points to five. Sure, frame range is based on 100, you can uh, change it to 100 or 200. Also in future I will add a custom value for it. I have a low limit. There is an up limit in here because uh, you know it's very important that you have a, you, you have a vertical uh, limit for what you are going to create so that your data are com compared to an original you know limit. For instance you want to say that uh, you like our own chart, which is based on 100 persons. So, for instance, the cons consumption of meat is uh, 60. I don't know, 60. Yeah, for instance, uh, 62 or 3 or 1 uh, uh, percent. The food consumption of family is located the meat. 
and you, you must pay attention also to this point a very precise uh, a very precise mathematical representation is not important but a rather beautiful and manageable chart which we approve in such 3D environment because we are going to create commercials, movies and the other things which needs beauty rather than pre precision in the sense of a mathematic mathematician you know I mean let's go on we can understand what I'm going to express unit is based on 10 so that it's in year 0, 20, 40 so this chart uses a unit based on 20 because uh, from 0 it begins then in, in when it reaches 20 it will create a text and a marker in here and when it reaches 40 after 20 it will again create a text representing the value the current value and also a marker representing uh, the vertical bar region where the value is in fact uh, simultaneously created for offset you see the space from this text uh, to this vertical bar is called offset in this script uh, by default it's one but in here I think it's at least five or four I don't know <coughs> if I'm true or not and uh, good after it's everything is, is fine the most important part of this uh, script is data points where you provide data for your uh, chart the first uh, the first data point is meat so meat I'm going to write it here meat very delicious it's 60 for instance let's say one and then milk okay, I suppose it is nine we put a 9 in here, written it's not important really, 9% of a family's of a consumption is allocated to milk for instance in, I don't know, any country it's not important which country, but we are going to create that these information are not real, I just have provided them based on my, uh, my own uh, assumption and I'm sure that 90% of them are totally wrong so bread, uh, bread includes bread, and let's say bread, uh, it's a 20% for oil, and uh, wine, I, I'm, I'm, you know, in a, in a foreign country, I don't know where I will use it, but I, I type it in here. Uh, Let's say just potato, for instance. Potato. So bread, oil, oil includes uh, this in here, 29. You see, we say for instance, oil 7% and potato 3% of the family's consumption. Well done. For a structure, structure is very important because it determines the way these elements scale and spacing are recognized. I put the spacing in here to 10. The spacing is indeed uh, sets the space between these data points. And I need a space at the end of uh, the space platform. For instance, when this uh, last data point is created, I need a space from that last data point up to the end of the base platform itself. So I put a base final offset to, for instance, something like 8 and range for thickness I'm going to put it in three maybe two it's good base platform thickness I'm going to put it 2.5 there and uh, let's generate that so uh, I've got exactly the things that I needed there and I like it really so if I play it you will see that the charts are and animate being animated up there they are growing <coughs> but it needs some modification especially for the data point scale and I'm going to say data point scale no for data text scale uh, I'm going to say data text scale to say five for instance and data text the offset no but space spacing range value in here is very important for the range value 
And in here, let's say, for instance, put in uh, surface value to H. And you see that we're going to get much more different look. I haven't yet uh, edited this part, unfortunately, but it's good. It just does not matter. Uh, scale this text a little bit and we get them. I'm, I'm going to put Z scale for this in the future versions. But now I'm busy and I'm, I don't care for such tiny problem compared to other parts of the screen. Uh, so like it's data point and scale them in X axis to make them a little bit more beautiful and move the data a little bit here or a bit more breadth also like that milk a little meat a little and works fine so you see that they work uh, working of them is uh, smooth without any problem so you see how to use this script. Uh, it's really fast and your, uh, it just really uh, accelerates your workflow. And using it for your own chart will indeed uh, give you much more time for the other things in your project. <coughs> Good. But about uh, rendering. For rendering, I've set up a scene where there is an area light and there is a directional light also a main camera where I've uh, set the focal length to 65 also I've just animated it a little bit uh, so it's um, um, frame 92 in here if I just uh, play it you see how things are shown up so it, it, this is also uh, being rendered, this image is uh, re re uh, render of uh, <coughs> frame 92 of this scene and this animation. About rendering, this is a background plate where you will see shadows and also a background, nice background, and some, some color bleeding. Of course, not too much, but as you know some shadows and the, the mixture of shadows into each other makes a nice result uh, some reflector in here I could also do more detailed uh, uh, refl reflector uh, placements but I, I just found it enough for our example an area light which behaves the archilight oops it's a Persian text let me move the light and also a, dir a directional light, which is responsible for our field lighting or field illumination. This indeed illuminates the shadows, dark shadows, fully dark shadows, into a more uh, grayish shadows. It gives some 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 kind of white tone into our injects some white tone into our black shadows. This one provides our uh, shadows. Sensibly and also it illuminates the scene smoothly with its nice mental ray uh, driven light. I, I, I sample, I put it on 80, I, and low sample, I put it on 35. In a real project of myself, I don't go this much crazy about samples, but in this example, really, really, time is not up that much important, but the beauty is showing you how you can render a chart using mental ray. Is it that is significant? Also, in here you see I've just did some setting uh, similar to what I've done in previous uh, in previous uh, scenes. To make a confession, I forgot to put uh, also chart's name in here. So I've I've had I have made this manually going to create text and typing text set it to poly count and count to one one. Uh, Thousand when I, I I created that, then I just made an extrusion out of it. For this text, as you can see, uh, they're also like our previous example. I've been 
Pascal that is in your script and these data points they were by default uh, you see they, they've been quite a bit four times bigger their original scale in x axis and also these uh, text in here are a little uh, moved uh, translated in x axis and a little depth on z axis good but about the material <coughs> I've used Mia material for all of them basically for instance for my meat I've, uh, I've used a Mia material called Blue Mat. So in here, I've Blue Mat. Uh, for Blue Mat, I've used a Mia round corner. So that I just wanted to give it some nice beveled edges to it. See in here, some nice. And, and bevel uh, allows specular and reflection to uh, be appeared in, in our edge, which is impossible with a crisp, unbeveled edge. I've set the reflection uh, to 0.954 uh, glossiness fully without you know bringing it down and make adding some blurriness. You can add blurriness if you like, but in such a chart, I don't think if it is required. But uh, for steel, I, I've done that, and it's out of my laziness. Oh, sorry, because uh, I just did make some steel for my base platform, and I found it. Uh, a little hard for myself to make another one for one. So I just used this without really changing. Steel is uh <coughs> is being uh, nourished by a glass on us of point three eighty two or the reflected pure one. Um the color is a very very bright yellow it's mixed with a little bit of red to make gold black color. VRDF is set to point seven thirty two. Of course, not, uh, the, pre the, uh, the precision is important for the uh, uh, first two number. And the third number is not that much influencing our scene in, in the sense that we are now working. For screen mat, I've used exactly the same setting for all of them and used a MIA corner mix for all the other uh, for all all materials in the scene. So steel, you see red and. It's good there. I have a green in here where it is similar to my chrome. You see, the settings are the same with a bright, bright green. And uh, you can assume animating it yourself, and it will make a beautiful result. Of course, in here, I, I'm not scientifically correct because. The top of uh, meat data point and tube uh, is uh, going beyond the off limit of camera, and and in a scientific uh, representation or even in an artistic or commercial presentation, this just does not work. Good. So uh, we are finished with our tutorial on designing and animating a chart. Of course, it was. Very easy. It, it just has it, it just uh, has made it has made it easy for you to create chart and put and invest much of your time to to the beauty of your to the beauty of your chart and then to creation of a chart, which could be easily done with a script as we've seen. The script has become much more uh, versatile and much more rich in its um, Know, much richer in the future versions due to the fact that every application is completed, every script is completed just step by step. Okay, see you.